we mentioned a phenomenal story and um, it, it's re- it's worth repeating a million times and after I said the story to one of I, I said to Rabbi Yao Goldstein I said the story over and he tells me a follow up to the story you listening? listen to this what happens is my I'll tell you real quick and then I'll tell you his follow up listen he um, I tell him my daughter came back from school one day and she says, Daddy, the teacher says, no, no water bottles on the desk. But the teacher has a water bottle on her desk. So she tells me that, I don't understand. She has a water bottle on her desk. Why can I have a water bottle on my desk? I said, that's a great question. Why don't you ask your teacher that? Tomorrow go ask her and let me know what she says. She says, all right, great. Next day, listening. She goes, she asks the teacher, in recess, Mora, you know, you told us this with all due respect, but you have a water bottle on your desk. And you're telling us not to have one on our desk. She says, Sarah, it's a great question. As soon as we get back from recess, I'll tell the whole class, because probably everybody's thinking the same thing. I'll tell the whole class. She comes over to me the next day, that, that day, my, 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 uh, my daughter, and says, this is what the Mora told the class. Her mouth doesn't produce enough saliva to moisturize inside. So then what happens is her tongue gets stuck on top of her palate. You understand? On top it gets stuck. Because there's not enough moisturization in the mouth. There's something called the saliva gland that produces saliva in your mouth. And you, feel, right now, as we're talking, feel your mouth right now. You feel you have saliva. Go, go do it. You feel, you feel it right now. You feel the saliva in your mouth. It says she doesn't produce enough of that, and therefore her mouth gets dry. And every twenty minutes, she has to take water in order to have that moisture because she doesn't have that saliva. Did you ever thank Hashem in a million years for your saliva gland? Joe, you're here right here. You have a thing, Hashem. Thank you. Go think right now. You want thank Hashem for my saliva. Saliva glands going like this. So here's the follow up. Right? First, let's do saliva glands. Now, I'll tell you the follow up. So Rabbi Leal Goldstein tells me that he has a relative, his great great aunt, tells me like this. He says, further, says, the, he has a relative, earwax. Earwax in your ear is extremely important. It's so important where it's called vertigo. If, if you have a ear vertigo, if you don't have enough, you, you, you get imbalanced. You get, yeah, yeah. You get imbalanced. So yeah, do you ever think I should be, you ever, you ever think I should be, you ever think I should be earwax? <laughs> yeah, I want earwax, I told you. So listen to this. He says, there's so much development in the wax for this, his like great aunt, that every three months, they have to pull out the earwax, but they, 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 can't, they, they can't pull everything out. They got to pull enough to make sure that she still becomes balanced as she walks. Yeah, you ever think, thank Hashem, for your earwax that can balance you off to, 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 to do it? You ever get a clog in your earwax? If anybody knows, did anybody get a, you ever get an uh, earwax clog? You got one? Yeah, Shalom? You got an earwax clog? What do they do? They, 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 they pull... They, they have that. You did it? You ever did it? You had an earwax clog? Yeah. So you have to thank Hashem that now you don't have an earwax clog. You have earwax and you don't have a clog. So two things we're learning here today. One, the saliva gland. And one is the earwax. Thank Hashem for those two things today. But really do.